Hey, what's up guys, it's Zedor, and I'm gonna be teaching you how to improve your gameplay by 90%. Uh, for those of you who think there isn't a skill gap already, uh, just try to fight me in a 1v1, you'll probably get slapped. Um, I've been roughly playing Shinobi Strikers for 48 hours, and I've noticed a lot of bad habits people have. They don't know how to properly play objectively or subjectively, and they don't really know what's going on in the match. Uh, so what makes a bad player? They feel like they don't need to block, they aren't comfortable with moving around in the 3D space, and they aren't properly using their jutsus. Also like some extra things that could help you out um, is knowing what to block, how to escape certain situations, and when not to fight. When not to fight especially because some people feel like they see two people and they think that they have to fight or kill the first person that they see instantly. You can block, you have a counter, you can push them back, you don't have to engage in the fight uh, you don't have to commit to the fight you can just back off um, and I guess the biggest thing is to know how to use a jutsu objectively but first we'll cover movement and blocking as it's the biggest problem I've seen since playing all right guys so the first thing I really want to cover is movement uh, there is no reason to use this while you're in a match scenario unless you're covering a distance to get to a point or there's nobody around you. There's really no reason to use this. It's not that good. It's not super reliable. And when you're on the wall or anything like that, you get angled in certain in different ways. What you need to do is use the ninja grappler. This thing is really good, and it covers a lot of distance. And this is my main source of movement around through buildings really quickly. Um, another asset that you can use is the dash. Um, so what I see a lot of people doing is that they do the double jump and they're not using the dash, and I don't know why. And then they end up doing situations like this where they they do this, that doesn't reach, so they have to call it out again. You know what I'm saying? And and it's just a waste of time. So you might as well just get the reassurance and the distance that you need by doing the dash in the air and then calling it out. Um, but mainly this is your fastest way of getting around. Uh, you can hit a wall, angle it in different ways that you need just to make sure you can get to where you need to go and it's probably one of your greatest tools for movement in this game uh, don't concern yourself with trying to jump jumping on stuff and, and going back and forth like that or whatever don't do all that just use the ninja grappling tool um, the next thing i'll cover is blocking blocking is really essential to this game i don't know why people think they can just mash buttons and not block or have to worry about anything i um, mean what makes this game really interesting is that uh blocking doesn't Hitting attack button, it won't go into the grab like in Naruto Storm 4. There is no grab in this game, so essentially you don't have to worry about holding holding down block. So watch this. I'm going to hold down block and I'm going to do the full combo of this. And when it ends, you instantly go into block. You hit one button, you cancel, it goes into block. Now, why is this important? Because you can instantly go into block, or it's called jump canceling, or combo canceling. Uh, and it will block instantly. So if I do this, I will block. And why is that good? Because this game has 360 uh, defense. Meaning that even if something hit you from behind, if you, as long as you're holding down the block button, it won't uh, affect you. So you can essentially be doing combos against someone. Right, and then their teammate comes up and tries to help them hit you from behind. All you have to do is hit X while you're holding block you'll jump cancel into a block and you'll block them and then you can start fighting them and vice versa anytime someone runs up on you just hit square or hit x and then block it uh, i guess another thing a quick tip i guess when you're doing this you can cancel it by hitting block uh, if some of you didn't know um, the next technique I will cover is wave dashing. So if you already hold blocking it for it, you do a dash on the ground. If you hold for it and you hit X, you'll do this. This is gonna be your main source of movement around while you're on the ground in terms of like PvP when someone's near you. Uh, and why would you do this is because you see when you hold forward and jump, that kind of stripe line, that is invulnerable. You can't be hit by anything. Um, not to say that you can use this to like kind of escape people's jutsus and stuff because uh, a lot of the jutsus hit multiple times so in that in that one frame of invincibility that you have you'll probably get hit in the other frames of their jutsu um but anyway all you have to do is hold forward and do this hold forward and jump and you'll have one frame of invincibility and you can angle yourself 
you can go back, forward, forward, whichever way you need to go. And that's kind of how you want to approach someone instead of running up to them like this, because this is super vulnerable. This is hit me with the kunai and combo me type of vulnerable, because uh, kunais are really good. So that's how you kind of want to approach uh, movement and defense. Um, and I'll show some examples on this and why it works in like team battles and how people can't sneak up on you. Or you can uh, negate getting hit by stuff that you can't see. Alright guys, so the last thing we're really going to cover is your jutsus and when to use jutsus. Um, right now, what I believe the meta is, is you need a jutsu to extend your combos and you also need a jutsu or some type of jutsu that's CC, so crowd control. Something that can push them back or slow them down or stop them or dead in their tracks. Uh, so right now I use Almighty Pull and Almighty Push. Almighty Pull, after I end my combo in the air, I pull them back to me and I can extend my combo. And then I use Almighty Push to jump into the point or whatever the um, whatever game mode we're in to push them out or push them away. Uh, I don't necessarily, I use it to end combos when it's convenient, but I mainly keep it around just in case someone's trying to contest a point or someone's trying to take a point uh, to blast them out of the point. Um, and in this clip, you'll be able to see how I do uh, my combos and kind of how I approach some people. You'll also be able to see how the guard is uh, a 360 guard. So even if you hit them from behind, uh, they still block it. And you'll see how I extend my combos and how I move around. I think I show a really good example of using ninja jump, I believe it's called. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it's called, but the ninja jump to get closer to an opponent. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's the end of the video. If you did enjoy this video or you did learn something new and it helped you, don't forget to slap a like on it. If you have any friends that enjoy this type of content, don't forget to let them know because it really does help my channel grow. I also do have a link to my Discord in the description if anyone has any questions or wants to play games with me. And I do stream on Twitch from time to time so you can check me out on there. Thanks for watching.